The next thing is uh, a use case for, um, uh, we need more visibility and just general understanding of what's going on in our facility. So production and operations staff need at a glance visibility to current status. Maybe they're um, not near their, their office, not near a computer. Uh, they're out uh, tending to the needs of the facility, whether that's a manufacturing facility, uh, some big process uh, happening. And, and uh, uh, another thing that's, that's also advantageous is by making production status available to everyone, we wanna encourage everyone to be uh, just, just keep production moving. It's a, it's an incentive that it's kind of like a scoreboard. You see that and, uh, you just want that to be available. So, uh, what we're talking about here is something like Andon. Uh, if you're not familiar with Andon or production monitoring, it's called different things. It could be digital signage, could be factory information systems, it could be big screen TVs or big, uh, uh, boards up in the, uh, uh, rafters or hanging on the wall. It allows you to quickly visualize the status. Uh, and, and understand what's going on. And, and I always like to say that machines are like printing presses for money. Um, if, if, uh, you, you realize this, that, that, you know, you're making a profit on, on every product that's coming out of the machine, or if you're running a process, continuous process, uh, you know, whatever you're making or manufacturing, there's a profit in, uh, uh, associated with that. And if, and if it's not running, uh, it's not making money. And if it stops, you need to get that running quickly. Um, you need to be able to understand what's going on from a distance. And I'll talk a bit about that more in, in just a couple of slides here. And you can also in, encourage safety and, and keep employees informed. Uh, maybe there's employees that don't have um, uh, their own uh, email accounts. You know, how do they get uh, information? You don't want to hand out pamphlets and things like that. So how do you keep uh, information like this uh, in, in front of employees? So one way would be to uh, have the thin clients. Now, this could be either the secure viewer thin clients that I mentioned before, uh, or mobile access thin clients, and have big screen TVs or big screen monitors hanging up uh, with either local computers, or these could be browser uh, based as well. I know some of the big screen TVs that I've tested uh, have built in browsers that happen to work. You would need an external uh, computer for those. And some of the benefits of this is, is being able to have hundreds of these. Notice here, I have this little dashed line. You could have production information, uh, OEE for overall equipment effectiveness, just general what's going on. You could have uh, one of these in the cafeteria, let's say, or break room and provide information about um, what's going on, the weather, the stock price, um, uh, just information so that, that, again, keeping employees informed. This could also be a facilities type thing where you're monitoring energy usage or building automation type type things. And you can have this rotating between different screens. And uh, what's nice is these are easy to replace if necessary. Basically, you, you, you put in a new device and configure it where it needs to go to, and it's it's pretty much up and running at that point. Now, taking this idea and and continuing on with it, expanding upon that a little bit, is is this type of application where you have a video wall and you have maybe a multiple set of big screen TVs. In this case, I've got uh, four TVs in a two by two matrix, and these could be 4K screens, these could be um, 1080p type screens, and, and it doesn't have to be in a two by two matrix. You can get, uh, Aviva Edge will support up to 10,000 by 10,000 pixels, so you can, um, you know, visualize this from very far away. We've done studies with uh, some college students where we've actually uh, determined how large do the characters have to be so that they can see them from uh, 50 meters, 100 meters, 150 meters away, uh, and, and how how far, uh, how large do the characters have to be when they're at those different distances, and uh, they can. Uh, see the individual characters from from those dis distances. So, uh, and, and again, uh, giving you the ease of being able to create screens that span multiple monitors uh, very very easily. Uh, and again, from one runtime. And as I mentioned back here on the previous slide, uh, that you can have hundreds of these clients uh, uh, really uh, uh, off of one individual server. So it's not a video cable. This is a network and. And uh, each of these could be different screens. They could be the same screen, uh, could be dependent on where that uh, is located, whether it's in a cell, uh, manufacturing cell, a zone, a region, 
um, uh, cafeteria, et cetera. So lots of different capabilities when it comes to that.